In the Malatar district of northern Uganda, a mother has no choice but to use dirty water from this unsafe water source. It's a common scene within this village ever since the well they were using stopped working, forcing nearly six villages to travel great distances for water. But today, that situation is about to change. Refurbishing wells is one way we can ensure clean water remains accessible to families like 60-year-old Sammy Agoy, who brought her children and grandchildren to witness this miracle for herself. When this uh, well got spoiled, uh, it changed our lives negatively because we had to go and fetch water from far and uh, taking care of these uh, kids and grandkids of mine became very, very hard because we needed water to survive. Water is water. If you are thirsty and very thirsty and you don't have any other water, water is water. You rather drink it because water is life. So that is the, that is the mentality that everyone has, that uh, we need water. If there is no clean water, that water becomes water for them, dirty as it may be. Most of them are complaining of our stomach pains. Uh, sometimes we feel like Maybe we boil the water, but still, even when we boil, it changes nothing. It's still the stomach pains that uh, they go through. Drinking dirty water makes most homes remain without parents. They pass on. And you find there are widows. There are orphans. That is why most of the children around here don't have parents. They have been without a safe water source since that time. They have been traveling long distances looking for a safe water source uh, three kilometers away from here and they would be walking and you know uh, mothers, girls and people would be so many at the water source where they go. So having this well being refurbished today means a lot to this community because it has been a burden. A burden that is completely avoidable. That is why it is so important to refurbish wells like these, to combat rust and dirt that builds up, and help bring clean water back to villages like this one. When it comes to refurbishment, we replace worn out pump parts, so we remove the old parts, the worn out parts, the rusted pipes, and then we put new ones. As the refurbishment nears completion, Sambi brings her grandchildren to celebrate clean water returning to her village after such a long time without. It is exciting. When they had unsafe water source, then they had clean water, then they lose it, and then now we go and we're refurbishing. They get, you know, so excited and they feel good that life is going to be much better. I felt a lot of joy, a lot of joy, but I had to thank God in heaven. My life is going to be very, very easy. I am going to be having clean, safe water. Thank you, Canada.